And welcome in, folks, to another night of exciting Freed Hardeman University Volleyball as the Wildcats from Bethel have come into town. Michael, That's right. how are you tonight? I am doing great, doing great. Just ready to uh, get ready for some volleyball in-state rivalry action tonight, just like what we had Tuesday Ex night. Exactly. I'm Ray Pack. He's Michael Mullenix. We're, we're proud to be here to bring you the ball game. Coming into tonight's matchup, the Wildcats, I've got their stats. you got Freed Hardeman's up. Bethel yeah. comes in 7-11 and 11 overall, 1-10 and 10 in conference play. They are ahead of Freed Hardeman in conference play by virtue of their win back on September the 24th when we went up to, uh, to McKenzie. It's McKenzie. I knew where it was. To McKenzie, Tennessee. And uh, they've won 3-0 up there, Michael. They're coming in. I'm, look, you look at their overall. They're averaging about 12 kills to set. They're hitting at 164. And 11.6 assists per set. Again, one block. It's just over one block, one ace per set. What's Freed Hardman at there on the on that? Where are we at? Well, just a little bit under uh, everything right there. You got uh, in just 21 games, Freed Hardman's at 11, just a l under 11 and a half kills per set, hitting at about uh, 148. Uh, just. A little bit under 11 assists per set, uh, averaging over one block per set, 1.6 service aces, and they're doing very good in the digs column at 16 digs per set. Yeah, and Bethel's at 14.71 on digs. So you look across those stats, what you see is you see two even volleyball teams. That's right. I mean, they're within yeah, – they're, they're close enough to say they're a draw. Uh, again, you and I talked about this the other night. I thought the Lady Lions played – uh, fairly well the other night. Uh, they had a couple of letdowns, and those letdowns led to a run of four or five points, and that's all you need in volleyball. And Tennessee Southern, the Firehawks, uh, still have a hard time saying that. But uh, they uh, they were able to take Freed Hardeman 3-1 uh, on Tuesday night. Glad to have our executive director and producer back, Paul Schultz. Mary Bannister over will be running the camera. Remember, this is the production of Worthy Road Studios. Uh, let's see, what else? I got something else I'm supposed to Oh, I need to say hi in case my buddy at Bethel, Dave McCulley, the athletic director, or not the athletic director, the SID, their sports information director. Dave is 74 years old and still as active as can be. Uh, glad to see him or here to, to know he may be watching tonight. Dave, hello as we bring this action to you. Now you look out there and you look at, at uh, this, this Bethel team, they've got uh, a junior, number 23. I don't know if she's on the floor. No, she just came just off. Just came so, off for the so she, she is six foot four from Millington Central High School in Millington, Tennessee, just a junior. She's the middle blocker. Bethel's gonna be serving it up first. And it's uh, Dominica Skoniska. Is it going to be a free ball? The set outside. And just getting it in is Hannah McGowan, a 5'9 junior from New Orleans, Louisiana. That's all right. And just looking at the stats here, you figured uh, with the 6'4 uh, Addison Coulter, uh, the junior from Millington, you figured she'd be the lead blocker just by her height. But actually, it's Hannah McGowan at t oh, just 200 uh, kills. Really? Well, you, oh, you're talking about on the kills. On the kills, 227 kills Well, one overall. thing, let me teach you a lesson, a little bit about volleyball right here. Volleyball 101. The majority of your kills are going to come from your outside hitters. Eat, and that time we have. What they called Annalise. Yeah, Annalise the, Jackson in the net. Uh, most of your kills are going to come from your. Uh, right side hitter. And a service error there. And that was uh, number 20, Kamisha Moxley. Now serving is Ashlyn Cliff for Freed Hardeman. And she gets it a little bit long. Both teams trying to go deep on the serves to make that back row work hard. That's right. As Bryce Morris steps in for Freed Hardeman. 
Serving will be Brooklyn Davis, freshman setter from Watertown, Tennessee. Emma Campbell now speaks. Donegan's going to attack. And she just she just missed that one. I mean, she you, you could tell when she went up. Four two our score. Free ball now. Nice job with the block back. And Donegan goes wide, wide to the right. Trying to avoid that block. So Bethel on a 3-0 run right here, 5-2. And that one sails long. Clara Walker checking back in for Katie Speaks. Casey Donegan's going to step back to serve for Freed Hardeman. You know, we talk about Casey a lot. She's a great server. She's able to do... And that time she wanted that drop, and it just fell short and went to the net. So 6-3. And Claire Walker gets the kill. Uh, Starla Couples, head coach at Bethel, been there in her 17th year. I believe, it's, I believe it's around the same time Coach Humphrey got here, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to, you'd have to go back and see how long Coach Humphrey's been here. He's been here almost 20 years. There's Davis with the set. Now they go to the middle. Now it comes back over to Walker. Nice job by Morris. Going to go and going to be two hits on Allie Humphrey. Ball handling error. And talking about Coach Humphrey, this is his 21st year. 21st, as the I knew he was and right. He says the volleyball coach, and I think he's been the softball coach about that long too. Sammy Parker, the libero, is serving. Donegan with the reception. Now she's going to go on that back row attack, and it's going to be out. So eight four Bethel. Going to set to Claire. She rolls it over. They're going to go to the outside. And that's uh, Skoniska. And Coach Humphrey going to take a timeout. Let's take a 30-second timeout with them. We'll be right back on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And welcome back in as we got a 9-4 score. Bethel with the lead. Continuing to serve is Parker DeLibero. She is a freshman from Decatur, Alabama. And can, there's a block back. Going to go back out to Skoniska, and she goes off the double block. Avery Harris, right? A uh, Avery Harris. Avery Harris. Number six. Make sure about that, will you? Humphrey's going to come out to Walker. Blocked back. And Walker's going to get the kill. Nice job by Donegan to cover the block. And then when she did, she just bumped it straight back up for Claire. And Claire put it down. As Ashlyn Cliff checks back in. Humphrey now to step up and serve. 10-5. Set number one. And that time it was Kamisha Moxley with the kill, the middle blocker. And All right, we got to that. that have it, I got it right, right? Avery Harris. Avery so. Harris. And she is a freshman, too. Yeah, she is a freshman. I forget that sometimes. She doesn't play like a freshman at times. 
Donegan, Humphrey, back set to Walker, kill. Claire's on her game tonight. That's right. The, okay. the other night, Claire was off just a hair, but she's on it so far tonight. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's three kills for Claire. Now she's serving. Goes deep to the four hole. Going to go to the outside. And I believe that was number eight, Summerfield. Ashley Summerfield, yes, that was who it was. That's your outside hitter on the left side. They, they call it outside hitter. And then the, the right-hand side is the opposite. Tell you what, Bethel is rolling right now. Got a sub as Ivy Robertson is going to check in. Robinson, get that right. Now the set, Donegan off the block, double block, gets the kill as it goes out of bounds. So, Fred Hardman playing hard, 13-7 as Ivy Robinson from Lexington, Tennessee. Like we talked about earlier in the season, one of those, uh, you know, in high school playing as rivals, now in college playing as teammates. And, and Ivy, let's remember, Ivy – Coming off of a shoulder injury, it's last year. She's, she's still not at 100%, but she is able to to give some some credit there. And Moxley with the service error that you know you notice on the stat sheet on the stat line when you look at it, they don't have service errors on there. They only have the positive stats. Ashlyn Cliff with the serve. Nice job by Freed Ardeman to recover off that McGowan kill or attack. And that time McGowan tries to go down the line and she misses. 14, 14 9, I guess. And Cliff trying to go back in that and, and hit the four, five, four, the five, excuse me, the five and the six hole on the back line. It looked for a minute that thing was going to look like it might, might have died there towards the line, but just unfortunately had too much carry yeah. on it right there. Coach Humphrey asking for a check of the score. It's 15-9. Davis with the serve. Humphrey's coming out to Donegan. Donegan goes cross, dug up over there by the libero, and we're going to get a ball handling error on Bethel. As Claire Walker checks back in. Well, they've rolled around the rotations here so, so far in set number one. Donegan to serve. And there's that, there's that, there's that. No, very little spin. And it just kind of, you call that a floater. It kind of floats over and just dies over there. Now, since she puts any backspin. Nope. Same, same exact serve. So, it's now 15-12. Freed Hardeman. This time, now Davis goes to the outside. Got a hand on the ball on the attack. Now Walker. Now she's going to bring it back. And that time, as she dug, tried to dig up the, the, the block back, just a little bit over the net on an overpass. So that brings back in McGowan serving. That's a double double hit that didn't get called. And there's the big middle Coulter. 17-12. And Claire gets a kill. It, you, I want you to watch. When you have success on offense, the first pass gets to the 10-foot line or in front. You struggle when you set your offense behind the 10-foot line. Davis with the set. Skaneska with the till, and then it was dug up, and Claire Walker with another kill. 
And we'll look at the stat sheet when they bring it up here after the set, but I think that's five. And no one was expecting that one. No. You see, and Coach Couples is going to take a timeout for Bethel. It's free to Army draws, 15-17. Let's take a 30-second break right here on the FHU Sports Network. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. And welcome back, folks. Michael Mullenick sitting over there. I think he was ready to bring us back, and all of a sudden I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ray Pack. Emma Campbell's back serving for the Lady Lions. And she goes over on the cross. Going to be a set to the middle. Donegan gets her hand. Nice job, Bryce. And a Humphrey sends the free ball over. And going to go to the middle blocker. Can't see Donegan with an overpass. Going to go to the – yeah, now see, now you come out to the opposite side here. That's number 16, uh, Vilches. And she was able to get it right over the top of the head and off the hands of Bryce Morris. So Bethel stops the run. Donegan, there's a nice pass. And – Hey, nice block back, nice block back by Robinson. And Walker. She went up right into the block. And Donegan tried to dig it up, but uh, just wasn't there. 1915. Set number one. Wildcats with the lead. Well, Humphrey with the dump. They had nothing to do, no choice but to do that. All right, now we back up. That spreads back to five. Coach Humphrey takes the timeout. Uh, let's just keep it right here, unless Paul wants to go to a break. Now we'll keep it right here. Uh, look across the way. Pretty good crowd over there. That's right. Uh, look. As I came in tonight, I saw uh, Coach Charlie Smith. I don't know if you know Coach Smith or not. I believe He's I see sitting him right over there. there. He uh, was the men's basketball coach, tennis coach, when I was a student. And he went on, uh, served as the athletic director after that. And a very good man, Coach Charlie Smith. All right, so Freed's coming out of the timeout, tw down 20 to 15. You've, you've got Parker serving. Now Freed Hardman on a little bit of a, needs to go on a little bit of a run right here. That time just, Bryce just didn't quite get back. She. Had to reach back for that. I was looking for a tip on that. That's what but, I was looking uh, for. Didn't, I, I looked at both ends and didn't see one. So it's now 22-15, Freed Hardeman. I think the seven is the largest deficit of the night for Freed Hardeman. And Claire, Claire ends the, 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 the run as Allie Humphrey going to go back to serve. Again, quite a few students here. Lady Lions softball team playing their fall ball schedule down. It, they started their game at six. Nice job by Humphrey. And that just... She got it up, and nobody was able to get to it. That was the thought it was going to be a joust at the net. So it's 23-16. 
as Vilches and the that's on the antenna. antenna. So 24, that's Ashland Clift over here on the near side. Number seven for Freed Artemis. So we're at set point. And that time she, I don't know exactly what she was trying to serve there, but she kind of sidearm serve and it, 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 it did like my golf shot. <laughs> it took a nice hook. Mine usually doesn't do that. Mine usually has the opposite effect. And there's Moxley with the kill. So Bethel's going to take set one, 25-17. Oh, so you slice, I hook. That is exactly right. That's why I leave college golf to the college golfers That's here. That's why I only play one time. I played, I played golf for the first time in, in 20 years, about uh, two months ago. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a two-minute break right here. We'll be back with the second set of Lady Lion Volleyball right here on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but close Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And welcome back as we have just started set two in miscommunication right there. All right, we look at these first set stats as Bethel takes that 1 0 lead. Look at that hitting percentage for Bethel. And you have two uh, – actually, you got three or well, you've five got, with you've, over five attempts. You, yeah, you've got uh, uh, Kam Kamisha Moxley is five for five. And ball. What is it called? A vi it, violation? It's called a back row violation, back row attack violation. Two to zero now. And that's, that one goes long for Claire. Ian Serving is Alex Lipsy. She's a sophomore from New Albany, Mississippi. That's my wife's hometown. And they got they got a few from Mississippi. And, uh, of course, they're, most of their recruiting looks lo locally at least. Yeah, they do a lot. They've got a couple of international players. Freed Hardman is out of sync right now. As Donegan with an overpass. Going back out. And I tell you what, they're going out to McGowan. Bethel's on their game tonight. Uh, like I say, hitting hitting 478. They've got two that are perfect. 
when you look at the total attacks, they've had total attack attempts, multiple players with at least four. And Claire Walker misses again. Coach Humphrey takes a timeout, 5 nothing. We'll come back, we'll talk about Freed Hardeman's stats after this 30-second break right here on the Worthy Roads Studio. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And welcome back as we take a glance at the Freed Hardeman statistics. As Coach Humphrey, they're still in the timeout. Freed Hardeman had eight kills out of 25 attempts for a .04 a .04 percentage. And of course, you had seven assists. They had three service aces. Bethel had four service errors. Freed Hardeman, three. Bethel had a total of two blocks, one solo and one, uh, two block assists. Up Cliff, Lipsy pulls it up, set back outside to McGowan. McGowan, nice job right there by Claire Walker to bump that back. McGowan again, boy, she swings hard, gets the kill. She, she swings that arm and swings it hard. Now it looks like Lipsy is going to serve. Could be short. Ivy Robinson comes back to Ivy. She rolls it over. Back set. And that is Summerfield, and she goes wide. So Freed is on the board. 6-1. Yes. It's like Claire Walker will be back to serve now. Go ahead and call a few, man. I'm tired of doing all the talking. <laughs> and that was a good dig there by Campbell. Ooh. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're on to something here. I tell you what, you know, when you when you can get the ball that close to the net for Casey Donegan, I don't think you're going to stop her. You, you just need a per need perfect placement to stop her on that that kind of shot. That was almost perfect placement. Yep. Just unfortunately, just rolled off the wrong way. And looks like Brooklyn Davis is going to come in for Bethel now. I believe she's a freshman for this team. And yep, freshman out of Watertown. Where's Watertown? I believe that's up towards somewhere around Nashville. Well, I believe. You're in Tennessee. You're from Tennessee. You're supposed to know all these places. I know it. There you go. I don't know where Watertown is. I know it's somewhere around the Nashville area. Okay. Because I know like TWSWA districts. They're probably in. One with Cannon County, Macon okay. County. All right, so up there around Jackson County, Smith County, somewhere in those areas. All right, Robinson with the serve and going to get a carry. And trying to say who that was on. I believe that yeah, was. Yeah, uh, that was on whoever was in the middle. Was it? Uh, I think it might have been McGowan on that one. It may have been. And now you got Ivy Robinson, of course, from Lexington, Tennessee, coming off a shoulder injury. Davis, not much to do there except roll. Now Donegan again. And that time, that's where that six foot four kills you. And that's she right. was right there. And that's exactly where they wanted Casey Donegan to be at. But unfortunately, <laughs> you can't really do anything about a six foot four uh, mid hitter. From you know, it was, a, it was a really nice, nice, nice attack. And that time she. Just lobs it over. Good dig by Campbell right there. Watertown is near Lebanon, thanks to Coach McCutcheon. There we go. Thank you, sir. You were in the right area. And now it looks like McGowan's going to go back to serve on this one. And I tell you what, and, yeah, you know, uh, 
And All right, so. And they're going to get the kill is going to be uh, Jackson. It's going to go to Freed Hardeman, so it's 9-5. Ashland Cliff with the serve. And trying to get back in this thing. Of course, big thing that's hurt Lady Lions is just the runs this year. Of course, Tennessee Southern uh, only lost three to one, but big thing in those three sets that Tennessee Southern won, it was the runs that really hurt Freed Hardman um, in the, in, I guess what you call the clutch time, I guess. All right. Jackson rolls it over. Now going to go back outside. Donegan just wide. Is Skaniska. I'm about got that one down. I think so. I, of course. She was she had the attack, but Donegan almost she just went a little bit wide. And so it's now going to be 12-5 as a Reception error there. Now we're going to see Gabby Rodriguez take Bryce Morris's place. And of course, that look still looks like the libero. Uh, see, it's not Allie Humphrey. I, that is a uh, Sammy Parker. Yeah, Parker. Humphrey's on this side. Yeah, of the I was net. looking at the wrong side of the stat sheet right there. Donigan. From back, dug up by Katie Speaks. Now Donegan sends it back over. Now Davis sets the middle. Moxley, that girl hits the ball hard too. And right. very quick That's to right. the ball. And she doesn't give you time to get your block up there. And she's just right under uh, both McGowan and Skinnit. How do you say? I, I've lost how you say your name now. Who? Uh, Skaniska? Skaniska. There we go. Just right under them two for most kills. Uh, and there it is right there. Skaniska again. Fruit Artiman down by nine. Now 14-5 here in set number two. Coach Cunningham told me the, the JV tournament is coming up uh, for the conference. Coach, I'm going to call yeah. another time, man. Yeah, let's take 30 with them. We'll be right back with more on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And welcome back. Ray Pack and Michael Mullenix here with live action for Freed Hardeman and Lady Lion Volleyball. Is, you know, I, I just not sure what to say on that, Michael. That it's just Bethel is, they're just hitting on all cylinders tonight. That's right. And of course, I hadn't, don't know if there is a video from when Freed Hardman went to play Bethel. Well, I'm just, sure there is. I'm, it's probably on the Bethel website. But I just wonder if this is the same thing that happened at Bethel. Just Bethel got on a roll and there's just really no stopping Bethel. I don't even know. Uh, half the conference can stop Bethel the way they're playing right now. Well, all right, Donegan. The block back. They're just finding the open holes. That's all that is, is they're finding the open holes. As Parker continues the onslaught of serving. Campbell, Humphrey. There you go. Jackson hey. hammers one down. Hey, you you got to, you know, and Coach Humphrey called it well there. Switch it up. Don't go to your outside here to go to your middle. They haven't really utilized the middle as often tonight. And Donegan with the serve. Oh 
And there's Jackson now. There's your middle hitter rolling out and coming cross court from the opposite side. O'Donigan continues to serve. That's pretty offense right there. And that, there she goes. Donegan has, has served well. She struggled at the net. That's already her third service ace tonight. And there's Moxley. Moxley from Louisville, Kentucky. Didn't have a high school. She went transferred in from Shawnee State Community College. And another service error. I think that's four now for that's Bethel. Five. I believe that's that five, five for them. They had, I know they had four coming into this set. So, And here comes some of the softball players. <laughs> yeah, the Moxley, she just, she just hammers. Tell you what. Y'all got down and I got to see, uh, got to see Emily Bradford pitch tonight. Emily was out all year last year. She had a shoulder surgery, major shoulder reconstruction. Uh, went through all that rehab. I am I was just so tickled to see her battle back and be able to, to pitch it. She pitched well in the uh, in the innings that I saw her pitch. The and that sails long. Both Emily and her sister Caitlin are members of the Lady Lions softball team. Now Humphrey's going to serve. It's 19-10. He, you look at Coach Humphrey. You just just see the frustration. As Lipsy's going to step back and serve for Bethel. Ashland Cliffs has it blocked back. Campbell, Humphrey with the back set to Claire Walker. And it's blocked, double block right there. And it looks like this is going to be number 25. She didn't get in the first set, so I don't have her name just right on. That's Lacey a uh, Lucy Acuff, an outside hitter from South Haven, Mississippi, which is Memphis. And again, McGowan, free ball. And go to the big middle hitter, uh, Cutler. And now here comes the freshman, Jaden Watkins, who had a really good game the other night against Tennessee Southern. Yes, she did. She had a really good set. She goes up for the attack, and again, you got the double block right there. So 23-10, Coach Humphrey's just trying to find the combinations. Humphrey lucky didn't get called for a carry right there. And McGowan pushes it long, 23-10. Right now, 24 10, I believe. 24 10, excuse me. And now it's going to be a service error on Lipsy. And Katie Speaks is going to come in to serve. She replaces Watkins. Go to our roster for a minute. Nice first pass. Vilchez comes to the opposite hitter. That was Acuff. Humphrey puts it at the net for Donegan. Now going out to McGowan. And Bethel's going to take set two, 25-11. We're going to come back after a two-minute break right here on the FHU Sports Network. 
Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. And we are back here on the FHU Sports Network. Michael Molinex, along with Ray Pack, who is gathering up uh, the stats for set two. Uh, Lady Lions go down uh, two sets to none here as we get ready for the third set. Freed Harbor Lady Lions looking to get this set win to uh, try to get back in this game. Uh, so they'll need to go three straight uh, here to try to win this game. Of course, uh, looking at the standings right now, Freed Hardman and Bethel holding the last two spots. Freed Hardman just a game, or excuse me, half a game behind Bethel. Pikeville just ahead of them at number 10. So uh, be looking to see what happens as far as the standings go. Of course, every according to our SID, Taylor Hodges, uh, all 12 teams will be making the tournament this year. Uh, so right now, if it goes like normal, Playoff settings, it will be Life, Thomas Moore, Lindsey Wilson, and Campbellsville who will have the first four uh, buys in that tournament. And right now, just looking at the standings, Freed Hardman would have to, play, have to play Cumberland out of Tennessee in the first round of the Mid-South Conference Tournament. And that was if the uh, season ended right, uh, right now today. And we see Ray Pack coming uh, with the stats. And we'll see how we measured up here. So Freed Hardman goes down 25 to 11 in that second set. And it just Bethel's hitting percentage went down a little in that second yeah, set still. A little. It went down a little. They're still hitting over 400. So that's it. it, it, it it's I, I won't say that we've played horribly, terribly bad. But Bethel is, is – they're doing things to make us look that way. And you got to tip your hat to them. It's an outstanding game by Bethel. Back into Trans South days, this was a really big rival. Second probably to the Union rival. And there we go. Starting out strong. All right. That right there is the first block of the night for Freed Hardeman. And very much needed right yeah, there as well. Very much needed. Nice job there by Annalise Jackson. And I, I don't know who was – I didn't catch the other one. I know Annalise was in on it. McGowan. And Lipsy's going to come in for Moxley to serve, I'm sure. No, she's coming out. Yeah, li yeah, she came out and Lipsy went in. What am I thinking? Boy, <laughs> sleep deprivation, I think. And Watkins puts it over. McGowan with the roll. Oh, nice job by Watkins. Now Campbell with the uh, with the free ball. And that time it goes off the hands of Avery Harris. They've gone to the middle. Uh, Addison Coulter, she's hitting 364. Three, three, that was her fourth kill for the night. Watkins blocked back. Morris picks it up and going to be two hits on Humphrey. And Lipsy, if I'm not mistaken, Lipsy had a, quite a run when she came in and served. Didn't play in the first set, but she sure picked it up in the second. And Watkins puts it down hard, but it's dug up by Lipsy. Back to McGowan, a little tip. Morris, nice overpass, but that's okay. And dump. Dump by the setter. We're not expecting that as well as they've been hitting the ball. You weren't expecting that, Michael. Uh -uh. And 
Now it's going to go outside to McGowan. Nice up by Donegan. Morris to Watkins, and she lays it right back in the back corner. So 4-2, Humphrey's going to step back to serve. And McGowan, tell you what, out of New Orleans, and she she's just powerful. That's, That's right. all I can. I don't know what else to say about her. She's just powerful. And coming in, uh, she only had five kills, but she yeah. only had five kills coming into this set. Coming into this set, I'm say she's their second leading. Uh, Attacker on the year for Bethel. Is Davis serving? Overpass, gonna go to the middle. And there's Coulter. I tell you, you just. You, you, the overpass, it, it, it just takes you out of your game. Davis going to go back to the middle. It looks like okay, he's going to take a timeout. Yeah. All right. Well, 8 2 our score in set number three. We'll be back on the FHU Sports Network after this 30 second timeout. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we're back. Ray Pack and Michael Bonitz. Hey, Michael, we'll be back right here Saturday as I believe Central Baptist comes to town, our former conference foe. And I think that's a 3 p.m. start. I believe so. Humphrey with the set. Harris tips it over. Now there's the block back on McGowan. Going to go right back out to her. And hey, good hustle by Emma Campbell. You got you got to appreciate the hustle right there. If only the fans were allowed to yeah, play that. If one. only the fans. Thought she was going to slide into the step over there, but she is able to slow herself down. Yeah. And Casey Donegan's going to get a kill. Just Fried Hardeman not able to pass the ball tonight. Uh, You've heard me mention before, you hear everybody say one pass, one pass. Well, that first pass is very important. And that's what Fried Artiman has not been able to, to do tonight is pass the ball. Speaks serving. Davis, McGowan, nice up by Humphrey. Speaks. It's going to go to the middle to Harris. She blocked back. Donegan digs it up. And another... Another double block. When you you got uh, just amazing, great. The, the, so far, out of all the games matches we've seen, Bethel's blocking is the best I've seen. And Donegan finally gets a kill. I don't know that Fred Hardeman has anybody in positive territory. Well, Annalise Jackson is was three for five, hitting 600. And coming in for Fruit Hardman, uh, number nine, that's somebody I'm not – I can't remember all these names. That is Emma Lawson, the sophomore out of Lexington, Virginia. Humphrey sets Donegan. And Donegan rolls it over. Now they're going to go outside to – 
and went to Skaniska, Skaniska, and she puts it down, and now Harris checks back in. Now Emma Campbell will check back in for Harris as the libero rotates in. 11-4. And rotation error on Bethel. Someone was out of position. Ashlyn Cliff serving. Nice serve. Going to go to the middle to Moxley. Hey, they've had, they, we dug one up of Moxley. She was perfect up till that point. Nice job by Campbell. Nice job by the two Freed Hardeman ladies, Donegan and Speaks. And Skadiska tries to go line, goes long, out of bounds, wide. That was hustle right there that caused that to happen. Ashlyn Cliff going to Moxley again. She gets the kill. If I'm not mistaken, you know, you look at the kill, you have total attacks. That, that one that was dug up counts as an attempt. And so that goes against your hitting percentage. It's kind of like uh, getting on base with an error in baseball. Speaks, gets on the floor. Donegan going to go for it. And sets all the way across to Skadiska. Dug up by Campbell. Nice job there, ladies. And Donegan again cross court. Vilchez goes to the outside to Skadiska. Bryce Morris is going to set it out here to Donegan. And, oh, that was in. Yeah, I was going to say, you better call that in. That ball wins right between the lines. I thought it was going to be out at first. And that's what you call perfect play. That's to out there. exactly. So Donegan now I'm going to step back and serve. Vilchez goes to the middle. Dug up. Watkins. And going to push it way back. Bryce Morris tries to go get it, but it was just a little bit out of her reach, and it ends up in the hands of Coach Humphrey's daughter, Emily, over there. Unfortunately, not a, not a player anymore. Not a player anymore. We wish she had some eligibility left. And that time, Jackson. And they were looking they for were, the yeah, yeah, they were looking for the touch. That whole family, you know, Jared, baseball, Emily, volleyball, she was a great setter in her day. Watkins, nice body control to stay out of the net. And there is McGowan again. And Coach Humphrey like going to take his second timeout. Let's take it with him. We'll be right back on the FHU Sports Network. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookums, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And welcome back. Bethel leads two sets to none. They're up 15-7 in set number three. As Coach Humphrey has now used both of his timeouts. Skaniska serving. And a service error. I think she was trying to serve short. But whatever, time out, I'll, I'll, I'd rather say I think she was trying to serve cert, but I will give credit to Coach Humphrey for the timeout to disrupt the flow of the Wildcats. 
That's Parker now going back out to McGowan. And Watkins on the attack, it goes long. As Lipsy's gonna step back in to serve. And Avery Harris rolling out from the middle. Rolls out to that opposite side, was able to put it down. Humphrey going to serve. And McGowan, and definitely a tip at the net, so it's uh, 17 to nine. Following our broadcast, hopefully Coach Humphrey will be up to talk to us uh, and possibly bring one of the players up. Donegan goes cross with a kill. I don't, you never know, we don't know. That's all right. Now Speak serving. Davis back set to McGowan. And she went wide. I think the line judge was a little hesitant over there. And Phyllis kept looking at her, the R1. She kept looking at her, looking at her, and finally she held that flag up that it was out. Coulter. She hasn't been as effective in this set as she was in the first two sets as uh, Ashlyn Cliff. That time she rolls out back to the opposite side and lays it down. And, and that like time, four like hits. The antenna. Yeah, you got four hits. Now she oh, got, four hits. She said it didn't clear the net, so four hits. Now guess what? 17-13, Fruit Arnold has worked their way back within four. Bethel takes a timeout. We'll be back after this break on the FHU Sports Network. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we're back. Katie Speak serving. Davis is set. Going outside to McGowan. And McGowan is able to get that one down. See a lot of the, the uh, men's basketball team across the way. Coach Stutz. Assistant coach Grant Burns. Graduate assistant, I guess, Grant is. And Donegan hitting. I believe Grant's now the assistant coach. Like He may be. Because – uh, no, uh, Coach Mitchell, he is now at Faulkner, uh, left to – I think – Did he go back as an assistant or did he go back went, as a head coach? I believe he went back as an assistant. Of course, I, I, where he's from, so – Right, uh, that's where he big, came from. He played his college ball at Faulkner. Well, it's 18-15 as – That was uh, it's number nine. Emma Lawson. Emma Lawson. And that time she serves it out. As Harris subs back in. As you see, now Harris is out for the libero. You have to do that substitution. The libero has to go in for the player in that was started in that position. Ashlyn Cliff sets Donegan. And going to go out to Skaniska. And Annalise Jackson, a great job 
Humphrey frees it over, sends it deep. McGowan digs it to Moxley. Hey, applaud the uh, applaud again. Applaud the hustle. Emma Campbell tried to get there. That's a tough one as that ball just stays up on the net and you don't know. And Coach Humphrey, I don't know. He's questioning. He's, yeah. got, he's just chit-chatting down there. As Annalise Jackson now gets the kill in the middle. Ashlyn Cliff going to step back there. Ashlyn again, junior from Southside in Jackson, Tennessee. And Moxley, oh, there's a solo block by Annalise Jackson. And, and we've had we've had a, a, a double block, and then I think that's a solo, so that makes two total blocks for Lady Lions on the night. Cliff. Short serve, and just miscommunication about what to do right there. Coach Humphrey telling Annalise she should have just hammered that down. Just uh, to sum up the late line night, uncharacteristic mistakes that they're making. And Donegan, free ball. Jackson on the back set. There's another kill. Oh, 21-18. That's the most we've. That's the most. Yeah, that's the most we've scored now in a set. And now you got Jaden Watkins coming in for Katie Speaks. Yeah. You know, Jaden taking place in this this set for Claire Walker. Casey Donegan, that's who y'all would like to be serving. She's had a great serving night so far tonight. And Summerfield has it sent right back on a double block. Humphrey and Jackson. Donegan at that time, that's a little short serve, going to set to the outside to Summerfield. Tell you what, the Lady Lions have put fight in this third set. Didn't start out very well. Coach Humphrey took two timeouts. And now it looks like number three, Madeline Woods. Guess what? She's from right, just right around our area, isn't she? Murray City. Murray City. Murray City, Tennessee from Crockett County High School. It's 23-19. Hey, guess what? So now you got this young lady from Murray City. We'll see what the – she's just a freshman, so she would have played a, a Crockett County when the three juniors for Freed Hardeman, Lexington from Lexington Southside and Chester County. Chester County plays Crockett County every year. Coach Rawson does a great job up there at Crockett County. And not only that, his son goes here as well. Yeah, well, he's a preacher. Did you not? Know, did you know he he's preaches up there? I'm not sure which congregation he preaches at, but he preaches in somewhere around that uh, that area in Alamo. And Moxley that time is the double block goes straight down the let. So we are at set point match point 24-20. As Lipsy's in to serve now. And that'll do it. Bethel takes set three, 25-20. We're going to be back after, after however long Paul decides to take. We'll be back with more. We'll wrap it up right here on the FHU Sports Network. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere 
of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with a manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with a manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've not been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And welcome back. Coach Humphrey with Todd Humphrey up here with me for our post-game interview. Coach, uh, I, I really don't know where to start uh, other than Bethel took you out of took you out of your offense for sure tonight. Yeah, the first. Uh, I there you go. Those, yeah. you, you may have one. Uh, first set, you know, we I think uh, Allie had seven assists, and they were all either to the pins or 
yeah, the pins right side or, le or outside because we were not able to get our middles involved. Uh, you know, we, we did not pass the ball well, and these are not things that the girls don't know. I've told them over and over and over again. They're just not passing the ball well. Um, you know, that, that's, that's got to be a, that's gotta be a, a thing we address. Um, they're, they played uh, a lot better than the previous matchup that we played them at their place. I thought they were a lot faster tonight. I thought their middles were stronger tonight. Of course, had, had they had some injuries? Uh, I don't know. I, I was just trying to figure out how they could be uh, one in – whatever in conference play as well as right. they, as well as what they played tonight right it's exactly a, kind uh, of a mystery uh i think every team goes up and down i think every team has their their you know moments but uh, i don't think they've had a lot of injuries i think they just you know uh you know they're always going to play tough against us always that's the, yep. It's yep. the uh, that's, that's the way it goes it's the uh beauty of a, of a rivalry or whatever you want to call it um but uh you know i think uh, they played extremely well Took us out of our game, and and we were not able to get anything established. I can't I can't get some offense uh, out of the middle right now. We're needing some offense in the middle, and uh, to kind of open up our outside. I think Casey had a good time, a uh, good night tonight. Uh, I don't know how many she had. But, I see uh, Casey had nine uh, nine kills. Uh, yeah, nine kills out of out of the out of uh, thirty attempts, thirty attacks. Yeah, but you know, again. Uh, Claire had a good first set, then she had uh, kind of a trouble start the second set. Uh, so we let Jaden go in. Jaden uh, had a rough night as well. Jaden, you know, I don't know if she's a freshman, she's learning, but she's got a lot of upside to it. So give her opportunity to get us some swings, change things up, shake things up a little bit. And, uh, you know, again, uh, uh, it's just a tough night. You mentioned their middles, and and, and that may be the, the – in their middles they had uh, the uh, – I'll say the Moxley girl, numbers 20, 11 for 15. Mm -hmm. And then they had the, uh, oh, what was her number? I don't know, 23, the Coulter kid, six foot, six foot four. Yeah, yeah, from uh, out of that, Memphis. Out of Memphis. Mm -hmm. Now, she, she played well the first two sets, but she struggled in the third set. But I don't know that I've seen middles other than maybe Lindsey Wilson that's played as well as those two did tonight. Lindsey Wilson's tough. Uh, I think University of Cumberland's is always tough in the middle. Um, life is tough in the middle. I mean, it, you got to have good middles. And I'm not saying we don't have good middle. I think we have a young. You know, we got. Uh, well, you, you we got have a freshman, two sophomores. You know, right. So, I was going to say you, you, you. And you, then uh, Aries a sophomore. So we got three sophomores and a freshman. So you know, those are those are three young middles that uh, we've got to get more experience, more uh, you know time to where they can. You know, get you know good improvements. We we missed three three serves the first set, and uh, you know we lost by I don't know eight. Lost by eight. And so you know the fact that the fact that you know it could have been a, a point here or there. You know twenty twenty one. I think the first first set kind of sets the tone for the rest of the. You know if you get blown out, or you get beat or whatever that first set, and it kind of sets the tone. I I thought it was good. We came back the third set. And at least made it, you know, well, you're, you're, closer. Uh, Michael made that comment. There's no quit in your kids. No, there, there's no quit in no, these girls. No, and there's no quit. Uh, I just, if we got to get started better, we just got started better. And I asked them, I said, what makes the difference in the in the third set and the, compared to the second set? And they said energy. We had more energy the third set. Well, that, I told them that's a you thing. I, I can I can uh, yell, scream, holler, pat them on the back, you know, encourage. But you know they've got to give me the effort, and that's a that's a thing that they can control. You know, in any sport, Ray, uh, there's things that you can control. Okay. Exactly. Uh, you know, uh, a basketball player can control what he does on the free throw line. You know, uh, you know a guy. I don't know. There's different different sports. Football. You know, it's uh, it's you punting punting the ball or what. Everything. There's 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 something in every sport that's individual, and ours is is uh, serving. I guess serving would be something individual for us. But there's more to it. There's more uh, inside the heart, the energy, the the effort, the attitude. Those things that we can control ourselves. Uh, you know, I talked to him a little bit about it at practice yesterday. I'm not one to go out here and, and start making them run laps and stuff to try to, to motivate them. That's, 
Uh, we did that back in high school and in college, you it, know, the things now we're going to motivate is you either you know get the job done or we're going to continue to lose and you're going to stand over here on the sidelines. And so. you're going to try different combinations. Yeah. And that's why I think that's what you did in the third. Uh, well, you put Jaden in in the second set about halfway through. I put Gabby in as well. And then it Gabby was, went in. I forgot about that. Gabby can go in uh, anywhere in the back row and, and contribute. Uh, Bryce Bryce played really well uh, at times and she had struggle. And, they, you know, when a good team – finds uh, uh, someone who's struggling, whatever they're going to pick on them, and that's like what they did a little bit too. Well, you know, I, I, and I'm, I'm, I, know you, I know you've noticed this before I'll say it, but it seems to me like when, when Bryce and Casey are on the back line on serve reception, it seems like about 90% of the time they go after one of those two players. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, uh, and I'm not saying that either one of those are weak players because they're great players. No. But – they well, notice the, the team notices when the person is struggling. Well, that well, they're also going to avoid our libero, which uh, most teams try to avoid the girl in the different jersey. You know, we unfortunately did not do a good job of that tonight because we kept serving to their libero, and their libero is very solid. Probably one, I, probably, I think, probably one of the best liberos in the league, and so uh, if not the, so you know, uh, we got to we got to make a change there as well. So you know, there's things that we can do. Uh, we just got to we got to put them in practice. We can work them in practice. We worked on things yesterday in practice. Uh, we just got to execute them. All right, Coach. Well, I know it's a tough night, and uh, I know you as bad as I do. We, 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 like, to, we like to beat these old, old rivals. Yeah, and, we uh, do. And I felt like we, we, had, a, we had a good uh, pregame, the attitude, the energy. I felt pretty good. And once we got out there and we, we kind of got it, off to a slow start. It just know. didn't translate to the and first set. So Well, I call it timeout. Well, the same, thing in the same thing uh, Tuesday night. Uh, slow start, mm -hmm. and then you come back in third set and, and win a set. Yeah. But, you know, tonight we started out that first game like a, I think it was 0-5 or 1-6. One, one we're down so five. We're down five. And uh, I, I called timeout, which I don't like to call timeouts that early, but we kept digging a hole. And I said, you know, ladies, uh, we've created all the points for them. We, we hit two out of bounds. We've missed two serves, and we I think we shanked a pass or something. So we had given all five points to them. They didn't earn them, and we were down, you know, five, six, one, five, zero, whatever it was at that time. So, those things we just got to do as a college team. Got to do a little bit better. Well, you mentioned earlier every sport has it. I think what what got us tonight was a lot of unforced errors. Oh yeah, as right. unforced errors. I, that's the word I was looking for yeah, all ago. We call them we call them free points. Uh, you know, can't give up free points. You got to you got to make sure they earn them. And we did we didn't do that tonight. They got to earn them. All right, well, uh, we'll be back in here Saturday afternoon. That's a 3 o'clock start. 3 o'clock start, one game, no JV. No JV, weekend, okay. And it's non-conference back to the uh, OAMC days. So Central Baptist, yep. is it not? All right, Coach. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. No problem. And uh, we'll it. see you Saturday afternoon. Sounds good. And thank you. And we'll get Michael in, and we'll close out our broadcast. All right, folks, there you heard it, Coach Todd Humphrey. He's Michael Mullenix, by the way. He's the good-looking one. I got the face for radio. I'm Ray Pack. But we appreciate your tuning in. And Coach Humphrey mentioned exactly what I told you. You can't give away free points. Unforced sure. errors uh, will we'll get you every time. And uh, you can tell in his voice a little disappointed. But Saturday will roll around Central Baptist, 3 o'clock. No JV game, as he said. Tonight's broadcast, Michael is a production of Worthy Road Studios. It is copyrighted by both Worthy Road Studios and Freed Hardeman University. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or unauthorized use of this broadcast is strictly prohibited. Tonight's broadcast was directed by Paul Schultz, play-by-play -play announcer Ray Pack, color announcer Michael Monix, camera Mary Bannister, executive producer Paul Schultz. Until Saturday, we say good night and... God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back on Saturday. <laughs>